Yes lads, what is going on and welcome to another vlog. In this vlog, we are heading to Santry for the Morning Games 2022. Um, the Morning Games has had about a three year hiatus now um, due to COVID-19 and stuff, but we are back tonight and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm going down, I'm going to meet up with the lads, going to record a few of the races and I'm going to do some interviews as well. So I'm really, really, uh, really looking forward to it and it should be a great night really looking forward to the morning mile specifically at the end of the night um ireland's best runners like darren mclenny um Carl Doyle, Andrew Coscarin and many more are in that field so I'm really looking forward to it. I was meant to kind of do a little bit of a build up um, to the morning games like doing some interviews with athletes and stuff in their hotels before tonight but obviously I'm working so that wasn't possible but we're going to head down anyway to the race and I'm really looking forward to watch the races and get some interviews as well so I'll see you all down there. <laughs> Okay, so here is Sarah Lavin after placing third in second. second sorry, my bad. <laughs> in the uh, 110 meter hurls, how are you getting on? Yeah, good, good. It was a good run, really good start. Made a mistake somewhere in the middle and unforgiving. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's good that I'm still throwing out 13 ones. Probably would have been happy enough with that this time last year, but just need to make sure I don't make mistakes in the next run. Definitely. And coming out here today, you know, excluding that mistake, were you confident enough you could grab the win? Uh, yeah, I was going for the win, and not just the win, the stadium record, <laughs> which was taken, which was taken yeah, today. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it is what it is, can't change anything, but um, yeah, just Cork now on Tuesday, so one last shot to get it right. <laughs> and then hopefully we'll see you back here next year to get that stadium record. Absolutely, I just want to thank everyone at Tonliffe, it was incredible hospitality, I've never experienced it before because it's the first time her adults are here but honestly thank you so much to everyone everyone has just been really helpful and yeah Perfect. brilliant happy day as well hope to see you next year and congratulations today no worries thanks very much sarah pr parker back with a bang 200 meter champion last time winner now of the 100 meters So we're here with Kira Parker. Thanks very much, Kira, for taking time to grab an interview with me. How are you feeling straight away after the race? I'm feeling good. I wish it was a little bit faster. I wanted to break the stadium record. But, you know, overall, I'm very happy with the win. Really, and then coming here today, obviously, from Florida, as you just mentioned, yeah. Timmy, a uh, little bit nippy. How did, you know, did that affect your warm-up? Did that affect, you know, the wind affect your race at all? Um, yeah, a little bit. But, you know, warming up inside, I was able to keep my heat inside. And when I came out here, it was just no wind. It was a little bit of rainy, but it was it was okay. It was pretty good. Perfect. And uh, we hopefully see you back here next year to break the stadium record. That's the goal. I love Ireland, so I would just want to keep coming back. And then for the rest of the season, kind of, what's your plan? Um, well, I'm going to Cork next, um, and then after that, I have no idea. We're just gonna go with the wind. Go with the flow. Yes. Daddy, thanks. Oh, fashion flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> Daddy, thanks very much, thank and congratulations. You. Thank you so much. In lane four, presenting Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Andrew Robertson, the Irish champion, Tala and UCD, Israel, Olatunde is in lane five. And from Canada, who's been here many times, Bismarck Boateng is in lane six. The Welsh 60 meter indoor champion is in lane seven, Dewey Hammond. And ran in the final of the London in 2012. Aniso Jobowana from South Africa is in eight. And right beside you, the silver medalist from last year's nationals and the silver medalist in the indoors, Joseph Ojiwumi from Tala Athletic Club. And that's the lineup for the athletic center men's 100 meter sprint. Shh. <laughs> 
to be able to be, 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 be competing again. So for me to be back on the start line, running, get back into my old form again, I can't say anything better really. Definitely, and now kind of leading on after this race, you know, with a bit of confidence, what's the plan? It's just going to keep racing now. Like I'm possibly racing in two weeks time in London. Two weeks after that will probably be the England Championships. And then we'll see what other races come up, because we've obviously got to come off some Europeans clashing around that time. So we'll just see what pops up around then. And for the English Championships themselves, how are you feeling heading into that? Yeah, very confident. I feel like I'm coming into good form. Um, still a lot to work on though, but it's the best race of the season so far. No uh, headwinds or no wind assisted yeah, tanks for once. Like, yeah. It's about time for us. So yeah, I'm just going to keep improving and I can't ask for anything more. And after being Israel tonight, Ireland's national champion, that should give you a lot of confidence going into your own championships. Well, there's potential for him to go very far. He's just, just, keep, just keep his uh, feet on the floor, just keep uh, taking it slower each year. The, the secret is longevity. We've known how many years we've seen youngsters get hammered at a young age and they don't end up doing anything so as long as he develops uh, in slowly we've got you've got a star there definitely and i hope we see you back here next year yeah he definitely will definitely thanks very much thanks andy yeah. you too have a good hey, come help pick up blocks who debuted here internationally in the schools international. Becker looking really, really strong. Fiona Manning, tall, lanky strides from Kilkenny. She was third last year, but it's Sorty Becker, who was really on a blast year at the 200 meter mark. The Bill Healy on her side last day. It's Sophie Becker from the Healy, Natasha Harrison from England doing very well. Power up our national champion. Put your hands together for the neighbors from the north side. Sophie Becker, Fiona Manning is In, in the 400 mirror here at the morning games, how are you feeling, Marcus? Yeah, look, I'm a little bit, bit, bit disappointed I couldn't get the win for Clan Lift today, but um, I gave my best shot, and it's kind of a new event, so uh, yeah, look, I gave it a good shot, and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll come back again another year and try to win. Exactly, win, lose, a draw, though, being on, you know, new home soil, but home soil, never the least, and, uh, you know, placing second in the morning games, it must still be a nice feeling. Yeah, absolutely, and it's a, it's a mega event, you know, and uh, I've ran here a number of times before, and it's really, really good, and um, it's like a top-class meet, and it's great to be here, it's just a pity I couldn't get the win, but maybe another time. <laughs> and is there any point across, you know, the race where you could pick out and say, why it affects you in not getting the win? Um, look, it's new event I don't have any long work done I'm probably okay to 300 yeah. and after that it becomes a, a fight and whatever I have left yeah, in my in myself so look I didn't have enough today but I'll have it better for the next day and then the next day on top of that like what is on the, on the on the schedule for you now for the rest of the season um, I picked up a hamstring injury a couple of weeks ago so I kind of missed out on an opportunity to qualify for world champs but hopefully I can qualify for European champs later in the year so in the 200 meters so I'll be going back to my favourite event after this. If you have any fingers crossed you make that and we'll definitely be looking out for you. Thanks very much. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. On today we had our junior Sarah Healy, our national indoor champion, multiple winner. It's Nick Ponzi on those, taking up loads of space underneath the umbrella. But it's Issa Ujagarty. She was our national champion for a while at 800 metres just a few uh, years ago. Sarah Healy, she was fourth at the 800 metres the other day. Great win by Louise Shannon that we played. Looking very easy, 84. That's Anna Gibson from the University of Washington. That's the same university that Brian Fay goes to. So three tops. So it's Gibson. It's out. Gibson. Sarah Healy running with great intent there. Hannah Nuttall in there. Carla Sweeney is our national champion. She's just in. Second last at that group, looking very smooth and easy, ran a tactically very good race the other day. Maisie O'Sullivan is in there from the St. Albans Club. 
Daisy just at the back, she finished second to Carla during the exact the packed field and a great piece of running by East Soldier Doherty. Stretching them out as Sarah Healy looks with great intent there. Sarah Pennings from Australia, just inside her. So it's Pennings, but Sarah Healy with intent, two team meters ahead. Sarah Healy, Billings and behind her, a bit of a spread now. Carla Sweeney beginning to move up nice as a nice contact with all of them. Lovely striding Maisie O'Sullivan at the back, but Healy looking as serious as I've ever seen her, ladies and gentlemen. Give her plenty of support. The young under 23 athlete from UCD. She is fully intent here as they go to the head of Brave 82. That's Lizzie Bird, City finalist in the Olympic Games Junior Chase. So it's Healy, Bird, Nutshell is in there. Again, she said from the very, very start. Ten metres to go as they come into the home straight. Can you raise the roof here? Lizzie Bird is leading. Healy comes up on the outside. She's a backer. She's fighting all the way. Lizzie Bird is strong. That's a great, great women's mile race. Sarah Healy is in second place. 81, Helen Nutshell is in third. A cracking great race, 4.33 the clock stops at. That has been a official finish. Cherry Lane 7 is Ben Greenwood wearing number 65, third in the UK indoors this year. And the, the stripes, horizontal stripes, he's won more than twice already. He's also won the 800 at the at Lord International. So it's an event that suits him very well. Jack Manning from Kilkenny doing our pace making. The tall man moving up from the back in the yellow is Mark Milner. Mark, three times national junior champion. And he got third in our Fitzsimons, was just behind him. And they come in to get the bell at the eight. Pacemaker looks over his left hand shoulder. It's a good steady pace they're going at. It's looking good, number 65. That's Ben Greenwood, Kyle Langford just in his outside and a great run by Harry Purcell in an ECU singlet. Harris just in behind him, fourth as they look now. It's Greenwood, Langford, Harry Purcell right up there. Spent some time with Villanova, the man often runs on the trim colours. But it's Langford looking for a three time at Morton, a four time in Ireland. Greenwood in second. Carlos smooths up on the outside, so does Mark Miller. This is really beginning to pack up. Kyle Langford leading with 200. Caro, who did so well, third in, from the third in Stockholm. It looks he'll do that. Miller running a brave race and a very brave race. Person in on his inside. But Kyle Langford, the man who won Morton, not once but twice. Caro was on the outside. The man who got fourth in the world just two years ago. Langford wins his third, Morton. Caro is second. A great run by Miller and Harry Person. Stripes of me there, we're Dan Ray, a very good runner as well. And we can't look at the day shorter meters here without thinking the first Irish woman ever to get to an Olympic track final was Caroline O'Shea. But in on the inside is Pembroke Chambers. She's from Texas. She did the pacemaking and finished in 2019. She said she'd never do that again. Runs our pace it was to Louise Shannon. When Louise broke that Irish record and Kira was also sub two, the first time we had two Irish women sub two. So with the lap to go in the Dublin Marathon sponsored, our pacemaker Deirdre Murray doing a great job in on the inside. Number 76. And Isabel Boppy, who won the European titles unbelievably in 18, 20, and 23. Shannon just slightly boxed Kendall Chambers. Now competed in the NCAAs this year. Chambers just taking the lead. Boffy in second place. Boffy from North London. Three times European champion. Champion Kendra Chambers taking it up. Boffy in second place. Shanahan in fourth. Very, very tight at this stage. Jenny Bromwell in the black. Very, very strong finish with 210 to go. Put your money. Who's Shanahan gets up on their shoulders, she's coming into the straight. Buffy is a prolific winner, so is Chambers. Coming into the final straight, Dublin Marathon. Shanahan coming through her record holder. Buffy, the European champion, at eight, three times European champion, showing that class that she has. Shanahan in second place, number 73 is outside.
So we're here with Isabel Buffy. Thanks for taking time to do an interview. I know you just got a spike to the shin with Silla came away with the win. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good, yeah. It was pretty wet out there, so it was quite like bunched up and like when you're sort of bunched up like that and everyone's flicking water in your face, I think spikes just fly everywhere. <laughs> it's a bit of a hazard. <laughs> when about during the race did it happen? Um, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Like I didn't there was like scuffles sort of like everywhere because um, I was sort of like in the front and then in the middle of the pack and has to like almost move round, so not quite sure what it was <laughs> but still came away with the win so that's not too bad yeah so it's totally buzzing coming off of national champs last year last year last week and so um yeah no i'm just really happy so coming off a, a national title coming here today was your confidence through the roof uh yeah it's like i just wanted to like get out here and have like a decently quick race you know and today was okay considering the conditions so i'm really happy and then for the rest of the season always you know, is worlds on the cards not for me unfortunately i just missed out by a place but um hopefully try and get that europeans time and get the europeans yeah do you have any fingers crossed? We'll be looking out for you. Thank you so much. And congratulations. Thank you. And they're getting you the track there. So come on, give them a big cheer. Lift the roof here. Brighten them all. As Johnny Wan goes out to the front. So Johnny Wan doing his business. And they're sending out more from that past season. Wonderful! 24, 12, Knox, Morton Stadium ahead of them. So nice, easy set to tell that Johnny Wan and Guy are in there.
I've just seen some doubts in the net behind. Remember last weekend that the UK Championship Western Row finished second and third. Might be in their legs. I know those are five made it. And in these legs as well. Miller Court is in third. So now we have the state leaders. We have our chasing pack and the big chasing pack. Through the process in Denmark today, they had better weather as my goal with me. This is the next lift now. He's on for Massapini. Me and my journalist coaches in the crowd, he's been helping out on the side. Let's push him on! Let's push all of them on!
So as they're pleased by you, give them plenty of support. The last artist that to win it, James Norton, is out there. Two thousand and four, three fifty nine, fifty nine. Black Donnelly came in second place. The man with the headband number eight is Callum Davies. Champion in 2019, here in third place, and we have a two to one kind of fall there. We might need some help. That's a fair collision, and that's certainly taking those out of the run. So our team puts out dramatically. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's get in there. Come on, Davis, Ortiz, Andrew Horsford, and really doing well. Briggs, Brackett, the man from Neil, Cahill Doyle with the kick coming through. What a run by Davies, Forsberg is strong, so is McElhenney, he's a strong man, he won't lose internationally here in cross country and track. The 17 year old Briggs is still in there, he got, he was competing last weekend. Cahill Doyle is going up on the outside, the man in a row, really strong going through at that point. Officially, we're waiting for the photo finish. Really showing what strength he has and what strength to get there. So we're here with Cahill Doyle, the Clonliff man on home turf after the Morton Mile. Just raw, you know, feelings, raw reaction. How 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 are the emotions? Um, yes, it's, the, it's devastating. Obviously, um, I don't. I didn't really care about breaking four. To be honest, I knew that was going to happen regardless. But uh, yeah, when I came up to home straight, I, I thought I had it. But yeah, no, it's a bit underwhelming now when you break four in that in them circumstances. So. And then you know, on home turf, coming out, how were you feeling, especially after you know becoming 1500 meters? Senior national champion at the weekend. Uh, yeah, no, I was buzzing with the, the support. You know, it definitely makes a big difference. And I felt the cheers when I when I first came out. But a bit nervous, obviously, but uh, just kind of used on nerves as fuel for the the last few laps. So definitely. And you know, the depth of that field in terms of Irish athletes as well was absolutely insane. Probably, you know, all the all the best Irish athletes, you know, coming into one race and becoming national 1500 meter champion. So how are you feeling going into Europeans? Uh, I still I still need to hit a qualifier and probably up my ranking a little bit. So. Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush to try and find races there, so uh, we'll, we'll just race, we'll race Cork now and just see where it goes from then, but I uh, won't get too tied down on Europeans and stuff like that. So if between now and the end of the, end of the cross country is, is, you know, trying to get them qualifying time, the main goal? Yeah, yeah it's just uh, trying to find a race. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that's the main thing, but uh, try and hit the qualifier uh, and then try and place as high as I can in each race but uh, I'm not going to dwell too much into it just race the race and see what happens then definitely and uh, congratulations today and uh, yeah 
Thank you very much. Hey, thanks, Kyle. Cheers. Really appreciate it, man. Been asked twice now, but just, you know, your raw reaction after after that race, you know, what a finish. Yeah, oh, no, it was great. It's such a competitive race, um, and uh, I was delighted to take the win, and especially, uh, yeah, I had, to, I had to dive to, to take the win. I had to get a little something to get the advantage over Cottle, because he's such a good runner, um, but yeah, delighted to win. I was saying, and on the note of that dive, see, you got a little scratch on your arm there as well. So, you know, once you once you dove over the line and, and the race ended, were you, were you confident enough that you won, or did you have to wait for, wait for the official result? Yeah, so I dived over the line there and left a little bit of me on the track. <laughs> There's still some, some of my skin left over there, so I'll have to clean that up later. It'll be torn up on Tuesday. Anyway. Exactly, yeah, my skin will be gone then, it's not a problem. But uh, yeah, we, we, we both crossed the line, and I think I think the commentator said that Cottle had won, so I was congratulating Cottle, yeah. and then we were both looking back at the screen, and then it was a bit 50 50, and then eventually my name came up as the win, but it was it was, it was was only a very, very slight win, like just about, very just about got it. And with Cottle being, you know, in front of a home crown on, on, on home soil, did that kind of, you know, did you think about that? at all was a little bit of a disadvantage or yeah, well, like I'm only I'm only 15 minutes down the road in Balbriggan, so I suppose yeah, yeah. like it's a, it's it's a home advantage for both me and Cottle. Like we both train on this track on a regular basis, so um, but obviously the the majority like a majority of the crowd crowd here is from from Clonliffe, so yeah, obviously he has he has a lot of people shouting him, but I think I had a lot of people cheering me on there as well. Like, so. and then kind of you know obviously Miss Nationals last week, had a, had a great performance today. Going into Eugene, how are you feeling? Yeah, the training's been good. I I picked up a little bit of a bug last week, that's why I missed Nationals, um, but I'm back in flying form now. Obviously from as you can see from that win so yeah we're I'm in mean, good spirits going into it. And if we're, if we're talking best case scenario at the world so what are we thinking? Oh well like uh, as I, I was talking to Cottle there a second ago and I said like in the Olympics last year I made the semi-finals so the next natural jump up is to make a final so that's what we'll aim for. Definitely thanks very much and congratulations today. Thanks man appreciate it. Alright lads so I am back from the Martin Games now and um, it was an absolutely deadly night obviously it's the first Martin Games in about three years due to COVID and it is back with a bang. The men's 5k and the men's mile were my two favorite events of the night and um, obviously Efron placed four on the 5k but ran a really really brave and strong race and um, taking it out the lead and um, just after the pace had dropped off and obviously he got unlucky at the end and he had a full home crowd cheering him on and it was a great great race and then obviously Kyle Doyle another Clonliffe athlete narrowly narrowly missing out in the Martin Mile title obviously coming off a 1500 meter uh, national title there last weekend narrowly missing out by Andrew Coskran who dove at the line it was the slightest of margins but a great great day I know the um the interviews were really really good what happened was I done my first interview and basically this lad Peter Morgan first time meeting him came up to me and said Asked me if I'd be doing interviews for the rest of the day. I was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We spoke. He gave me his microphone that's linked to his camera. Anytime I wanted to do the interview, I walked up to the athlete. He followed me with the camera, recorded it. The audio was deadly, everything. Just waiting for him to send me on them interviews and I'll package this video together and it'll go live. Again, um, I will be doing a solo episode of the podcast. My leaving cert is done. Everything is done. Everything's perfect. Summer holidays. I'll be back on the podcast. This will be going out before the first episode of the podcast um, but yeah it was a really really great day sorry for not being active on, on socials on YouTube and for the podcast and whatever um, it's just been hectic lately with work and a job um, and the leaving certain everything but I'll be back on the podcast very very soon um, I hope you all enjoyed this video this vlog I had a great day anyone who's there um, I hope you had a great day as well at the races and yeah I hope to see you all again very very soon so I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time bye Music licensing reimagined.